so I got this comment about not tying with a rope halter. This person calls them a knotted halter, but she's referring to a rope halter. And a lot of people will not tie horses in rope halters. And here's the concern is that when you have a rope halter, that rope is a really skinny piece of material. And so if that horse pulls back, you now have that skinny piece of material, you know, pulling on that horse's face. And it's going to do a lot more damage as opposed to if you had a web halter, which can still do damage if a horse pulls back. But a web halter has more surface area across it. So now that band is taking the pressure, not just that skinny piece of the rope halter. This is just like anything else. You always want to make sure you train, prepare, and set your horse up for success. I would never tie a horse that doesn't know how to be tied, okay? And so what I mean by that is that steady horse before we tie a horse, and I teach all of my coaching students this, you want to make sure that your horse is okay with a soft tie first. You want to make sure that that horse is leading and giving to halter pressure first. You want to make sure that that horse is comfortable with some basic desensitizing so they're not freaking out and pulling away from the rope. That way, when you finally do what we call a hard tie, where you're tying them off, okay, and we do a safety tie where you can quickly undo it in an emergency, but they're already prepared mentally, physically, they are ready to be tied, and they've had some good experiences so that when they are tied, they're not sitting back and thrashing. So tying is a very, very important part of our horse's training, and it's something that you want to take slowly. Never tie a horse before you are 100% certain that that horse can stay tied and be tied comfortably. Because the last thing you want to do is tie a horse that hasn't been trained, taught, and prepared to be tied and put them in a position where they have a bad experience or worse, end up getting hurt.